On the screen now, there is the Global Action on Disability Glide Network logo. Title of the video, Virtual High Level Round Table on the Issue of COVID-19 and Disability, the 25th of June 2020. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Ana Lucia Arellano Barba, Ida Chair. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. The pandemic thought to all of us that none of us will be protected until every single person is protected. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Ms. Amina Mohammed, UN Deputy Secretary General. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. COVID-19 has made it clear that we must act now to ensure the meaningful inclusion of peace persons with disabilities in our societies. Our common goal is simple, to build a future that is inclusive and accessible to persons with disabilities. The GLAD network can play a critical role in driving disability inclusion in the decade of action in our journey towards the SDGs. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Dr. Ren Mingui, Assistant Director General, the Universal Health Coverage Communicable and Non-Communicable Diseases, WHO. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. The COVID-19 pandem pandemic has demonstrated that indeed we were not prepared to live up to the aspiration of equality for the persons with a disability. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Mr. Dag Ingelstein, Minister for International Development, Norway. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. The government has taken is to earmark funding over for, for vulnerable groups. We have also substantially increased our support for people with disabilities and now working closely with civil society organizations and multilateral partners. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Baroness Sugg, Parliamentary Under Secretary of State for the Department for International Development in the Foreign and Commonwealth Office UK. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. The UK has announced £764 million of UK aid to support international efforts to combat COVID-19 and to mitigate its wider impact. And that funding will support people with disabilities. As we already know that taking a united approach across the international community is essential to realise the promise of the SDGs and the CRPD. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Mr Kieran Cannon, Minister for International Development, Ireland. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. But we can make a difference and the pandemic serves as an opportunity for all of us to rethink uh, how emergency education planning can be inclusive of children with disabilities. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Mr. Mitch Fifield, Ambassador and Permanent Representative to the UN, Australia. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. People with disabilities should be included. They want to be included uh, and they absolutely um, have uh, what we need and the capacity to do so. Uh, often, uh, their biggest barrier is our attitudes. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Mr John Taylor, President of Wellspring Philanthropic Fund. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. The pain from this crisis is sufficiently widely felt and the systemic weaknesses it reveals are sufficiently obvious to open up new conversations that were unthinkable just a few months ago about the nature of the social contract and the right ordering of society. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Mr. Robert Destro, Assistant Secretary for Democracy, Human Rights and Labor, Department of State, U.S. On the right side, the sign language interpreter, pandemic must never ever be used as an excuse for limiting access to any kind of diagnostic and treatment, social services, or to health care or social services facilities. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Ambassador Luis Gallegos, permanent representative to the UN, Ecuador. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. To ensure the inclusion and access of persons with disabilities to health services on an equal basis with others including medicines, vaccines, and medical equipment, as well as critical information that is available in accessible formats. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Mr. Dominic Haslam, Chair of the International Disability and Development Consortium. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. 
the GLAD network has a powerful opportunity to influence and ensure this agenda. As was achieved with the UNCRPD and the Sustainable Development Goals, we must work harder than ever to ensure that in the post-COVID pandemic world, it is a more inclusive and a more equal world. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Ms. Alina Kalku, Undersecretary, Development Policy, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Finland. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. Looking ahead, uh, it is clear that building back better calls for transformative and systemic changes in the ways our policies, services, communication and information are formulated and delivered. As donors, we need to provide funding to both disability-specific interventions and to necessary capacity and structures for mainstreaming. Now speaking, on the left side of the screen, Anna Lucia Arellano Barba, Ida Chair. On the right side, the sign language interpreter. A better future must indeed be an inclusive future. Given the opportunity, the one to deconstruct all the systematic inequalities and build back better. Building back better means building a more inclusive and resilient society which values and embraces diversity in it's all forms. On the screen now, to endorse a call by GLAD co-chairs to rebuild a future inclusive of all, please visit bit.ly slash GLAD-CDA.